So this is where Power BI has a very helpful feature called parameters. So if you go to the modeling ribbon, uh, you'll see that within the modeling ribbon, you have a what if parameter option, uh, using which you can bring some arbitrary parameters into your model. So inflation is an arbitrary parameter. It's not part of the core data that we have in the chocolate business, but we would like to bring in a parameter uh, that can go from anywhere from let's just say negative 5% to positive 10%. So that's kind of a parameter that we can incorporate into the model through the modeling ribbons new parameter option. So if you tap on this, you'll see that you have two options. You have a numeric range, you have a field option. Uh, the numeric range option is what is appropriate in this case, but in some other cases, you may want to try the, the field option. So I'll click on the numeric range and um, we'll name this as there are two kinds of inflation in this particular thing. One is the cost side inflation. The other would be the uh, price or revenue side inflation. So we'll pick two parameters. So the first one I'm going to call this as cost inflation. And uh, the only sad thing with this parameter is uh, you can't really have it in percentages. I mean, you can kind of have it like a decimal number or a fixed decimal number, but it ends up looking a bit clunky. So I thought, you know, we'll just go with whole numbers for now uh, and set this from minimum of negative five to maximum of, let's just say 10%. Uh, but if you want to model some really outrageous things, you can go from negative 50 to positive 50 or whatever. Uh, and then we can default this to, let's just say 3%. So set it up whichever way you fancy uh, and uh, you can keep this add slicer to the page option enabled and click on the create thing. And what this will do is it will add a, a slicer through which I can control that inflation number. It goes from negative five all the way up to positive 10%, right? That's what it does. It will create that slicer. It will also create this table here that you see on the right hand side. Um, this guy there called cost inflation. So it will introduce that kind of a dummy table through which all of these are controlled and it will add a measure as well, uh, a harvesting measure, which tells you what is picked on the slicer. So cost inflation value, that measure tells me whatever I am picking on the slicer. So if I, for example, at this point, if I add a simple card and bring that there, whatever that slicer is, this value will be that. So if it is minus five here, it is minus five. If I go all the way to four, that will be four. 